All right, we need to simplify this fraction. And we see we have a binomial in the denominator. Remember, you can't reduce a fraction unless it's factored and you can cancel. And this is just one big factor, 3 squared to so 2 plus 2 in the denominator. Now, the way to eliminate radicals in the denominator when you have two terms is to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 3 squared to so, uh, 2 plus 2 is 3 squared to so 2 minus 2. And then we can do the distributive property in the numerator and multiply in the denominator. But remember, in order to um, simplify fractions, you'd have to keep it factored. So I'm going to first do the denominator to see if maybe whatever I get will cancel with that negative 12. Okay, so let's do, this is going to be a plus b times a minus b. That's a squared minus b squared. Remember the middle terms cancel out? So the 3 squared to 2 squared is, means 3 squared to 2 times 3 squared to 2. That's 9 times 2, which is 18. And then minus the 2 times 2, that's 4. So the denominator will be 14. And I see that I am going to cancel with that 12 here. Keep in mind this is a negative 12, so I'm going to remember to write the negative sign, negative. I'm going to write that as negative 1 times 12, all right, just so we don't lose that minus sign. And we have 3 squared, so 2 minus 2. And I'm going to cancel now. 2 goes into 12 and 14. So that's 6 and that's 7. So what I really have in this um, numerator is a negative 6 times 3 squared, so 2 minus 2. So if you want, you could just write negative 6 instead of writing that negative 1 separately. Okay, so we have negative 6 times 3 squared, so 2. That's going to be negative 18 squared, so 2. And then negative 6 times minus 2 will be plus 12. And that'll be all over 7. And that's one way to do this problem, one way to write the answer. Now, if you want, you can use the commutative property in the numerator and write the integer first, the 12. So that's fine. You could write 12 minus 18 squared root so 2 over 7. That's also the correct answer. So either of these is fine.